I'm about to save you so much time. Hello guys, how are you today? My name is David Franco from twitch.tv slash David Franco. Simple enough, right? It's always linked right below. I stream almost daily, especially now that I have the convenience of streaming on my PC, my Xbox One, my PS4, and even my Switch. Now, I put a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of trial and error, a lot of troubleshooting into this um, brand new setup of mine, but let me tell you, everything I went through was worth it because now streaming consoles on PC is just seamless. It just works. So this video is meant to save you a lot of time yourself. So let's get started. What do you need to make an experience like this possible? Well, number one, you need some kind of capable PC. Yes, you can use a Mac and this is me saying it's a proud Apple fanboy. Any serious gamer is not going to be gaming on a Mac. You're going to be wanting gaming on a dedicated gaming PC like mine over here. And um, yes, for those interested, I will be making a dedicated set up tour video in the near future. Number two, you need some kind of game capture device. It doesn't have to be specifically for gaming, but I do recommend going that route just because you know it's gonna work, uh, you know, the best it can. Okay, so for my setup, I'm using the Elgato Game Capture HD60 Pro. It's PCI Express, it's literally plug and play, aside from a few driver related issues, but that's gonna vary depending on your setup. And well, now it just works. As you can see, I'm streaming my PS4 with Horizon Zero Dawn and it's working beautifully. Number three, you need an HDMI switch, especially if you're using more than one console. Now, if you're not using more than one console, you don't need a switch, but I recommend going with a switch because it's going to make your life so much easier. Okay, so the switch allows me to have everything hosted on one capture card. So again, I have my switch. I have my PS4. I have my Xbox One. All of that is going into the HDMI switch. And then of course, the HDMI switch is going into the Elgato Game Capture HD outputting audio and video into my monitor, which does give me an instant game view. Despite what Elgato may say in their game capture software, they call it instant game view. You're not gonna see that. The best thing you can do is go straight into a monitor and not any kind of preview window within some kind of software. Because believe me, this is the best route to take. And I'll talk about that more in a bit. Number four, you need a gaming console. Obviously, if you want this to work, you need some kind of gaming console. Number five, a display with multiple inputs. This is crucial. I'll talk about that in a bit. And finally, number six, this is kind of a bonus. If you can, get an extra display for your convenience. Because believe me, having an extra display for me, no pun intended, has been a game changer. Okay, so what does my setup look like? Here we go. I am at gaming consoles going into my HDMI switch. Then the HDMI switch is going into the Elgato Game Capture HD. And then that's going from the Game Capture HD into my monitor. So that way I get a real-time source of everything that's happening. Whatever's happening, it's gonna be seamless and instant. Because once again, you do not wanna go through the instant game view that Elgato calls in their, in their Game Capture software. It works great for capturing video and audio, but when it comes to streaming, you want no lag whatsoever. And this gives me that. So to give you an idea of what it looks like with a little bit of lag, I'm gonna jump, here we go, ready? Let me just move my mouse so my PC doesn't go to sleep. Ready? Jumping. The bottom one is instant. The top one is software. So the bottom is what you would normally see on your typical TV, monitor, display, or whatever. And the top is the software, which is what I was seeing before I figured everything out. And this is the same exact view you would see within Elgato's game capture software. This just happens to be OBS. But uh, yeah, it's the same thing no matter what. There is a very slight delay. Now, to the average person, does this matter? Maybe not so much. But for someone like myself who deeply cares about gaming and just zero latency and instant reaction time, this is crucial to me, guys. This is crucial. So basically, I have the HDMI going into the monitor. I have to switch inputs. Granted, it's not a big deal, but check this out. Switching to DisplayPort, which is what I natively use on my PC. And now you're seeing my desktop which is great, but I also have my desktop up there because I have the Samsung TV going into my graphics card via HDMI. So once again, HDMI switch to capture card, capture card to monitor, all via HDMI. But my PC is connected to my display via DisplayPort, hence why you're seeing my desktop right now. 
Switching back to HDMI, you should see the PS4 pop up. And there you go. Now I'm back on the PS4 natively. So, because the Samsung TV is on my graphics card via HDMI, this means I can technically use this as a secondary display, hence why I have OBS running on the right and the Twitch chat, you know, on the left. So that's great. That means I never have to touch these windows. They're always going to be there. And of course, I can use the bottom monitor via DisplayPort for my regular PC stuff like web browsing, email, Photoshop, graphic design, web design, all that stuff. So basically, this doesn't get in the way of my day-to-day -day life whatsoever, and that's huge. So, if you need software like I'm using, again, go with OBS. That stands for Open Broadcaster Software. It's free. Yes, it's completely free to use, and it works well for the most part. Once again, you can use Elgato's game capture software, but I only recommend that for capturing. You know, in terms of YouTube, recording, all that stuff. Definitely go the game capture HD route. But for streaming, use OBS for your preview and a dedicated monitor or um, TV or something like that to game in real time. So uh, yeah, I guess the best way to wrap up this video is to say this. You need two displays if you want the best possible experience. Otherwise, if you are using a single display, there's nothing wrong with that, but you're gonna have to find yourself switching inputs between display ports and HDMI quite often. And honestly, that can get annoying very, very quickly. This setup just happened to work out for me because this TV was mounted before this PC was even a thought, so it worked out perfectly. Okay, there you go guys. That is my best explanation of how to stream gaming consoles on PC with zero lag. There's a lot of information to take in, so I apologize if I confuse anyone, but if you have any questions, please comment right below. And also, you can find every single item I mentioned from the HDMI switch to my monitor, to my gaming consoles. Everything is linked right below on Kit. That is a dedicated kit that I have set up specifically with Twitch streaming in mind. And finally, please follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash David Franco. That's linked right below, just like everything else in my life. And I guess that's it for now. I mean, I will be making a setup tour video in the future. I still have a few more things I want to set up, including my lights and all that good stuff, including maybe a HomePod within the next two weeks. Yes, I'll be ordering that. But um, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you next time. Peace.